Hi guys and welcome back to The Lair. It's Vay, the budgeting butterfly one and only. Hope you guys are doing well in these times in your lives like your girl always says. Always be kind of be your own kind of beautiful. If you're new here, hello and welcome. Family members are turning in. Welcome back. So, whoop, in today's video, y'all can see I got my change. Ooh, ooh, I got my change out. So for the sake of the length of the video, there are 40 quarters here with a dollar and 25 cent left. And then we have 43 pennies, uh, eight nickels, and 16 dimes. And I found a peso. Wait, a peso? Look at it. It says 10, 10 pesos. And then at the top, it has like a little $10 bill. Is it called Focus or not? Nah? But yeah, I'm excited. Ten dollars. I'm gonna ask my friend, my Spanish friend. Hey man, can you give me ten dollars for this coin? Uh. Okay, and then we have a fifty cent piece. And this new y'all look. I ain't never had one of these. It's a Thomas Jefferson gold dollar. Woo woo. Hola, hello, gold dollar. Y'all know I love gold, okay? And then we got a single dollar over here. So, for one, what we're going to do with this dollar? Mm. Let's see. One dollar. What are we going to do with a dollar? Let's... Mmm. Guys, this is a new envelope. This is actually a oopsie. Uh, yeah. And you can see why it's a oopsie. So, whenever this night comes, then... <laughs> we gonna have a dollar in there. Look at that. These are new to the layer, by the way. If you guys show enough interest in these, I will make them and have them... Uh, for sale on Etsy they will be uh, roughly three dollars a piece because they are laminated and vinyl BAM get you some all right so back to this let's go here we have nickels so I went ahead already and dotted the nickels because we had eight of those so let's put our nickels away so once this uh, is complete, well, not this part, but if I have 40 nickels, then I know it's time for me to roll them up. Okay, and that's going to give me $2 in the coin roller. So we're gonna throw our nickels in here and we don't quite yet have 40. All right. So we're just gonna continue to save it. So now let's move on to these pennies. Ooh, child. I know we about got 50 pennies now. But what I'll do off camera is I'll go in and I'll count the coins. And however much I need to roll them up, then that's what I will do. I will roll them. And I have a container that I put all the roll change in for the year. Let me grab that so you guys can see it. I had it earlier and I should have left it on the table. Sheesh. Oh, I'm messing up. Y'all, look at this. It is so... It's a baby bottle. Baby bottle tap. Baby bottle tap. Look at that. It's a baby bottle. So, once these are complete, I roll them up and I put them inside. So, this is now completely full. And I don't know what I'm going to put my change in once it's rolled up. Uh, I think maybe at that point, I um, I don't know because I want to save it, y'all. I want to save all of it. And then, at the end of the year, um, do a video going to the bank. 
and depositing it and with that money that i deposit it will go toward my capital one car loan that's the only thing i have on my credit so back to putting this change in here so the dimes we had 16 dimes so let's go over here to the dimes we need 50 dimes to make five dollar roll we don't have 50 dimes okay so we're just gonna throw it in the bag all right so now we have these quarters here never put the same machine no i i don't like the machine y'all i'm i'm not fond of that coin star because i want i want all my money that's why I just rather take the time out and just do my little videos. And however I'm going to count my change up, that's how I'm going to count it up. So we had 16 dimes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 dimes. What other one we did? The pennies. Okay, I already marked the pennies off. No, I did not. Uh, 43 pennies. Sheesh. That might take the whole thing. I might have a dollar. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3. So I know I have to go and mark these. I think I'm just going to dot them in the beginning. And then once I roll it up, then I'll color them in. I think that will help me be able to keep control of everything. A lot of money. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's do the quarters. Quarters had a dollar twenty-five left. So here, all right. So ten dollars worth of quarters is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight nine fifty. All right. So if we take, look at that quarter. What's on that? What did I say? Edith Kanaka Ole. That's cute. All right. See how sidetrack I just got just in? All right. So we have a ten dollar roll, and then we have a dollar and twenty five cent left. So all of these are going to be marked off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. All of these are going to be marked off. So we're going to clear this one out, and we're going to uh, we don't quite have twenty dollars yet. So let's just put it in the bag. Stop talking, rambling on, girl. Just put it in the bag. Nobody got time. Because you ain't got $20 worth of quarters, and that's all that matters. You ain't got it, so put it in the bag. And deal with the tracker later. You're right. All right. So now we have, what's this? Oh, this is like a little wheat penny. This is a wheat penny. I found it, and I'm going to keep it stashed. So, let's see here. All these, like, little different little coins, like the little peso. And this one is, it says Italian something. It says L200. I don't know what that is, y'all. Does anybody know what that is? 